Hello everyone and welcome to Bay of Honey Fortunes. My name is Natalie. I am an intuitive card reader and an empath as well. I'm here today to do a weekly reading for all 12 signs of the zodiac from uh, starting tomorrow until the, I think it's the 16th. Let me double check. Tomorrow to the 16th, the 9th to the 16th. Okay, I'd like to just very quickly say thank you to all subscribers, recurring subscribers, new subscribers, and welcoming all brand new subscribers. If you'd like to subscribe, just click that little subscribe button. It's a little red one beneath this video window. Every time uh, Bay of Fundy Fortunes posts anything new, you'll be notified via email notifications. Um, if you find that you like this reading and you want something more personal, um, because this is a general reading, so it may resonate with you on a personal level, and it may not at all. But if you'd like to if you have a personalized reading, I do offer that service. And you just check, check the description box below this window. All the information there pertaining to private readings, Bay of Fundy Fortunes. Very simple and very, very straightforward. I think that's about it for now. Let's see. Why don't we get right into the reading? Don't mind me with the fan going. I hope the sound isn't obtrusive or anything like that. It is so hot here. The heat and I don't get along. I mean, yes, I like to see sunshine. And it is summer. And it is August. And actually, the last two weeks, we've had the best weather we've had since last August. To tell the truth, if you're a sun seeker, it's perfect. Um, for someone like me, um, it just doesn't like me. It makes me extremely uncomfortable. I have to have that fan going in here. Uh, my window's closed here beside me um, because uh, I feel like I'm living on a construction site with the work going on at the neighbors here. So I try to drown that out. And um, other than that, it's a beautiful place to live. I just want to touch on that. I do live on the Bay of Fundy, hence Bay of Fundy Fortunes. I live right on the water. Um, the, uh, the Atlantic Ocean feeds in uh, the Bay of Fundy feeds in another the Atlantic Ocean. And it's huge. It runs between here and Nova Scotia down to the tip of Maine, somewhere along the coast of Maine. And um, I have a cove and an island in my backyard, Crow Island. And it's a very beautiful place. It's a three-quarter mile beach here. So too bad I'm not a sun seeker, right? Um, when I do go on the beach, though, I make up for the days that I don't. I'm down there three or four hours uh, vegetating, watching the humongous tides come in and go out again. And that's where all my inspiration comes from. That's why I mentioned it, because um, it's, it's awe-inspiring to live in a place where you have the highest tides in the world. And you can describe it as much as you want to people, but nobody really gets it until they come here and they see it and they go, oh my, I get it. And the history here where I live in Chance Harbor is about 300 years old. Um, at the end of this, this beach here in my backyard, at the very end, they call it the spit of the beach. And there's a little creek that runs between it and the main road, the mainland, technically. But there is a, a graveyard in there um, with a ton of history, and it's not used anymore. This goes back to the very first settlers when they were there. So it's very, very, very interesting place to live, rich in history. I often say I wish I was a movie director or producer because I could, I could film a movie here easily. But anyway, all my inspiration comes from there. So let's get started. All 12 signs of Zodiac, general reading, don't forget that. The very first card that I pulled for you, which is for Tuesday tomorrow, because I'm, I'm, this is Monday, and it's too late in the day right now. It's lunchtime to, to consider this for today, so we'll start it for tomorrow. Um, the Four of Wands, and it's all about rewards. Okay? This card um, can be about the rewards and the, and the self-reward of finishing projects. Um, the rewards of being uh, noticeable rewards from others for um, completing projects that you were doing and others will be um, admiring you for that. This is for some of you. Others of you are, are looking for a new home. Perfect time of year to do it. Um, some of you, I feel to say, will be in by Christmas. You will find your home. You will be settled in for this year's Christmas. Isn't that wonderful? How exciting is that? For some of you, you may be having to um, retest for work. Some of you need certifications in your jobs, and you'll need to retest. That comes up once a year, once every two years, once every five years. Some of you are going to find yourself dealing with that right about this time. Um, this is also the time for holiday, uh, holidays. With it being summertime, of course it is. Uh, summer vacations, family trips, 
this type of thing is going to be going on for some of you. Some of you are packing literally today to head out for family vacation. Some of you will fly where you're going. Some will take a train. Some will be on buses. A few, not many. Um, the rest will be by vehicle. And um, let's see. It's a good time um, for some of you that are going to find yourself socializing over summer barbecues, summer weddings, um, beach parties, beach gatherings, bonfires, celebrations, just a weekend uh, event, not even an event, a weekend get together with friends and whatnot. Um, you're going to find um, that um, you may find love or it may find you. Um, so... Let's see, keywords for this card are balance, love, contentment, freedom, openness, travel, and home. Some of you will, of course, be going home for the holidays as well. That, that's a given as well. Um, the advice of this card, because there is advice with each card, and for this one, is be careful, or be carefree, I'm sorry, while you can, and replenish your mind, body, and soul, you deserve it. So for some of you, um, beginning tomorrow, you'll be leaving on vacations, and this is what it's all about for you. You've been working so hard and looking so forward to just kind of sloughing it all off, all the responsibilities for a week, two, or even three for some of you. And you're just going to ah, exhale. I feel that very strongly. Big exhales. Ah, you know, I can, I can just let it all go. I don't have to worry about the bills. I don't have to worry about work. I don't have to worry about all the responsibilities. Everything has been taken care of. You've had your checklist. You've gone down it. Everything is all very tightly taken care of, wound, bound, and put away until you get back home and have to deal with the real world. Uh, for some of you, this is going to be, and I've been saying this for a lot of you, you zodiac signs, the summer to remember. Very, very, very strongly. I've been feeling that with a lot of the readings that I've been doing. Um, and, and it's going to be good memories of good times, of touching base with family, of reaching a new level with some family members that you never had before, a, con a, a commitment, um, a connection that you never made. Maybe some of, one of you or two of you had never really got along with your dad very well, or there's, there's an uncle you could never click with. Or that's crazy aunt, um, you know, the cousins you weren't quite, quite nuts about, but were forced to spend time together for summer growing up. These things are going to change for some of you. And no one's going to be more surprised by that than you, but a happy surprise. Um, these connections will follow through and take you through many years to come. And you'll feel a little bit better sweet about all the years that were behind you and why this hadn't happened before. Okay, so... That's card number one, and that's for Tuesday for tomorrow. Okay, so for Wednesday, the card that I drew for you, all 12 signs of the zodiac in this general reading, the Ten of Pentacles, and it represents luck. So for some of you, good luck is coming this way. Um, some of you could celebrate a windfall. How wonderful is that? Um, unexpected financial windfall um okay lotteries wealthy friends extending a hand um some of you finding some precious item in your attic or your basement that's been tucked away forever um and you find out a baseball card that's worth a ton of money go rooting around and look for that coins books Artifacts, clocks, paintings, all these things. Maybe you should root through um, with access to the internet nowadays and a wealth of information and the research is right at the end of your fingertips. It might be worth your while. I feel to say some of you have been kind of like off-putting when it comes to doing that kind of work. Now it's time to do it. You're, you're going to be surprised. You may end up with another 40 or 50 grand that you never thought that was even coming. Completely unexpected. Um... For some of you, the windfall will be large enough that it will bring you some financial stability. For maybe one or two of you, this will be through um, a will that has gone through probate. 
you didn't know your name was on this list. And obviously this person, when they passed, before they passed, thought enough of you to see that, that you would be to extend a hand because for some of you, you never asked anybody for help. You never ever did. That's just the type of person and child that you were. You never asked anybody for anything. This person has remembered that about you and and they were endeared by that. How you always fought to stand on your own two feet and wouldn't ask for help from anybody because you didn't want to be a hindrance or a problem to anybody or a burden. This person has remembered that and they're rewarding you quite richly for that. Some of you, there's going to be family gathering that's in the, in the cards as well for you. And as I said back a few minutes ago, all the family irritations that, you know, everybody's got them. Every family, um, when they do these family gathering things and family reunions and whatnot, there are irritations. Um, this summer is going to be different. Some of these irritations were from people that were that hadn't learned enough life lessons. Um, for some of you, you're going to find that some of these people that you found very irritating and you could only handle in small doses needed some growing to do. <coughs> Excuse me. And they've grown since the last family gathering. These are yearly family gatherings. And part of you always looked forward to it, and part of you dreaded it because you already knew. You already knew the lineup of people that were going to be there, and you weren't crazy about most of them. So you're going to be pleasantly surprised. Um, and you always have that that older cousin that always gave you the nuggies, you know. That he's grown out of that, and, and from now it's going to be a handshake when he sees you, um, and some intelligent conversation as well. It's just going to endear you. And they're going to have a genuinely deep interest in how, how you have been, which is going to warm you and touch you a little bit. And you're going to be a little, what the heck, all suspicious. What do they want? They don't want anything. They want your family love. And that's all they want. That's all you can give. Um, so you're going to walk away from this family celebration when it's over, feeling a feeling of contentment and connectedness um, to the family. Uh, in the world around you and how things can change. That'll be a realization for you. People can change. <clears throat> it's usually a growth thing with people. Um, some of you, there may be feelings of um, um, commitment that'll come about as well, such as marriage proposals or commitment of um, cohabitating moving in together. Some of you have been seeing somebody for a long time and you're a little tired of the dating scene and now you think we've been together, you know, two years and I can't see myself with anybody else but this person and now I want to take it to the next level and you will. That's coming. So if you're male and you ask your lady or lady intentions it towards her man, the answer is going to be a resounding yes all the way around. What took you so long? Why have we waited so long? You waited so long because it was a smart thing to do. Okay. So there may be some announcements of weddings or engagements um, over the next few weeks as well. This could also happen tomorrow because some of you, where it's Monday, you're starting out in your holiday today and going back to the family, the family um, homestead is what we'll call it. Um, and these things are going to be coming up right on top of you really, really fast. The so key words for this card are love, luck, money, generosity, family, and completeness. Completeness kind of sums it in and locks it all up. Okay, so for Wednesday, I drew the Eight of Wands, and it's all about travel. Key words for this card are communication, speed, news, motivation, action, excitement, and movement. The advice of this card is to breathe before saying yes to all offers. Choose carefully, save time and energy. And I just got the nudge for some of you to say, where it said to, to breathe before saying yes, don't overcommit yourself. Don't, don't tell your family that you're coming home this week. Um, somewhere in between, somebody said, well, listen, since you're going to be, you know, only, you know, 
500 miles away from where I'm at. Would you please come by for a couple of days, spend the night, two nights, so we can catch up and gather. Um, you may overcommit because your family at the homestead may have plans that you're unaware of. Be very careful. Tell them you'll get back to them. That would be the wisest advice that the cards can give to you, is to get back to people. Tell the people or the person that has extended this, this unexpected invite, you'll do your best and you will get back to them and you will let them know um, if this is going to be possible or not. Otherwise, you're going to be feeling uncomfortable. You know what? You're going to be at the family homestead and everything. Oh, I told them that I would be there on, like, Saturday. And now, you know, everybody's planning this big thing Saturday. Oh, and it's going to, it, it, it's not going to upset your life. But it's going to kind of eat at the back of your brain. It's going to niggle there and make you a little uncomfortable and rob you of 100% good time. So, careful about that. Think before you speak and accept. So that was uh, Tuesday. Okay, Wednesday, Thursday. That was Thursday. And the next one is for Friday. And it's the sun. And it represents happiness. There's two children there. Mer children. Reaching up to the sun. To the surface. And that's beautiful. Sun's a good card. This is Friday. And everything associated with this card is about joy, positiveness, happiness, um, the sign of the end to pressures and stress. Of course it is. Because I said, majority of you are heading out for vacation this week. Waited a long time and you're just going to kind of like let that all go. You'll be spending time with your inner child or maybe children. There are trips and holidays contentment, creative pursuits, hobbies, creative projects. Excuse me, one moment. Ah, it's hot. That fan's driving me crazy. Anyway. Some of you um, are planning some creative projects as well. Small on vacation that will continue to grow. A long time after you're done. This could be planting trees on somebody's property, family property. Somebody's had a storm blow through and has taken down some oaks, which is mighty because you'd have to have a bad storm to take down an oak. Some maples as well. That'll generalize the area for you wherever maples grow because they won't grow everywhere. You're going to be replanting um, to to um, um, replant the growth on this property um, and to take the place of the trees that were destroyed. The trees as well will be harvested. The ones that are already have been damaged will be harvested for furniture, um, the grunge stuff for hardwood, for firewood, um, this kind of thing. So it's a big project. Some of you are going, are going there just particularly for that reason. This is a work holiday. Um, this is a large property, huge, with a lot of acreage, big house, old homestead, and you're going to be um, treated to a whole different, for the city people, are going to be treated to as experiences completely different. They're going on, you'll be going brook fishing, which is sometimes far better than getting a bunch of people out in the boat. You'll, you could go alone. You find a brook, you grab a pole, you get your bait, and you, you cop a squat on the riverbank somewhere, or on a brook bank, and you just throw your line in, and you sit there in the sun. You watch the water ripple by over the rocks. You'd be surprised. You might catch a trout or something, and they're very tasty. Very tasty, fresh trout. Um, but it won't be about all the fishing. It'll be about just the actions in the moment, being in that moment, and the realization of how rich you feel, how lucky you feel to be there. Um, you'll work hard through the daytime and play lightly at night, and it'll be wonderful. It's going to be, again, here we go, with the nudge, a summer you're never, ever, ever going to forget. For those of you young enough that don't have children yet, this is a story you'll pass down through your child, your children um, and share that with them. For some of you, you'll see the night sky like you've never it's never been seen before by your eyes. 
you'll be amazed. For some of you, this could bring about a very large life change. I don't want to be in the city anymore. This is more like it. How can I trans, trans, how can I transpose my work life that I have in the city into this? Because this is where I want to be. But with technology today, for some of you, that will be doable. You can work from home. You can, you know, you can commute, this kind of thing. For some of you, it's going to leave an ache, an ache in your heart that this is what you want. The city is done. You're done with the city. This is what you want. This is what you, this is not only what you want, it's what your soul needs. And while you're there for this week, on this work project, your soul is going to feed off of the natural beauty and energy that you're getting from it. That's a wonderful thing. It's just wonderful. The advice of this card is to enjoy your success. You're feeling safe. You're appreciating the harmony around you. What did I just tell you? The, the, the cards is better than I do. But the same thing. The keywords are growth, joy, children, protection, holiday, success, contentment. This is one bang up holiday for a lot of people. For me, not so much. Um, this isn't about me. I am one of the signs of the zodiac. But I haven't done diddly squat all summer long. Um, just being that life is the way it is. But for, I really envy you and I really feel the heat off the cards that are portraying and telling you that this is the summer to never forget. For a lot of you falling in love. Um, a loving, warm summer nights, fireflies and crickets and moon rises, sunsets. Yeah, it's all there. It's all there for some of you. You're going to feel like, pinch me, is this real? Has this week been real? Has this month been real? Has the summer been real? Yes, it has. The cards are telling you, yes, it has. You're very fortunate. So, Saturday's card is the Hermit. It's about contemplation. This is an important time for quiet reflection, to study, to absorb the things that have happened around you lately. You'll welcome this retreat. You won't feel lonely. Know that deep inside you, you have an inner light, and it's that inner light that guides you. If you're single and alone, know that you won't be you won't be alone forever. There's there's somebody going through the same thing right now, and you're both. You know, there's a song, um, I think it's Billie Holiday, where there's a line in the song where she says, I'll be looking at the moon, but I'll be seeing you. It's a beautiful line in that song. Um, while you're looking at the moon tonight, because there is a moon, I think we're into a new moon. The next time you're looking at the moon, remember this is one moon that covers this whole planet. Remember that if you're alone, that there's somebody else looking at the moon as well, thinking the same things you are, feeling the same way you are. If you just ask the spirit guides to bring you together, ask the universe, put it out to the universe. Bring me my one true love. Bring us together, join us so that the next time I'm looking at the moon, we're both looking at it together at the same time. And that sounds corny to some people, but that's the way things work out sometimes. You have to be corny. Corny's a good thing. Corny is is all pretenses are laid down. And all the stuff that people fill your head with, all the crap and the BS that people fill your head with, is all gone to the wayside. And you get to feel what you want to feel no matter how silly it seems. Because it's not silly. Because that's what's bringing you contentment, joy, and happiness. The hack with the naysayers. Those are people, and I like to say, that for people like me and for people like you, that aren't afraid to let your, your, your hair down a little bit. Still waters run deep. We may appear all serious on the front. When you peel that away, the still waters run very deep. Those other people that are trying to discourage you from being that way, thinking that way, feeling that way, their cricks run dry. All they have is a crick running through them, and it ran dry a long time ago. Pay no mind to them. You only live once in this world. Live life while you can. 
if you're into any over uh, overwhelming relationships right now, try to pull away from them because this isn't the time for that. You don't want that. You don't need that. The advice is do not resist being, do not resist being alone. This is a time for healing and contemplation to find the answers that you need. Know yourself on a deeper, deeper level. Take a dive into those still waters. Mm -hmm. Keywords are thought, retreat, travel, inner journey, solitude, and reclusiveness. And that's all good stuff because we all need I seen a meme, we all need that quiet. I seen a meme the other day and it said, no one has no idea that the alone time that I insist upon is for their benefit. That's me in a nutshell. I, I, I crave being alone. If I don't get the alone time, I become very short, very irritable, very um, cranky. Um, when I have my alone time, there's a serenity that comes over me. It really, it's everybody else that benefits from it. Um, because it's a good thing, right? So, and here we have the Six of Pentacles for Sunday. One moment, please. Okay, they're going away. They got big construction equipment over there. They're putting in a road or something next door. Um, the Six of Pentacles for Sunday. Yes, uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. That was Sunday. This is Monday. Wait now, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. This is Sunday. The Six of Pentacles, and it's all about generosity. Keywords for this card are finance, gifts, balances, help, compassion, <clears throat> humility, and perfection. For some of you, you'll be given gifts, and if you are, accept them with thanks and grace and a little bit of humility. Some of you will be giving gifts or giving help and just the gift, the act of giving is a reward unto itself. Don't look for that though. But don't believe in looking for reward when you're giving help of yourself or time or even just a gift, something tangible. Don't, don't expect, don't expect the universe to, to bring something back to you because, because that's not what it's all about. Okay. Um, when you give of yourself, it has nothing to do with you. Does that sound, that sound a little ironic? But when you truly, truly, truly give it your heart, that has nothing to do with you. It's the person you're giving it to. It's all about them. And it's the act that you're extending, the help that you're giving. It's all about the other person. It's not about you and about how you feel. When you see a need, you fill it. Down the road, the more you don't make it about you, down the road, you'll be richly rewarded. It will come back for you. Completely unexpected. When you least expect it, the universe will come down and will bless you. And maybe the light bulb will go off and you'll be going, I wonder. You know what? You'll never know. Accept any gifts from the universe that are brought to you. It's for a good reason. You may receive a gift as well. It may be money or a token of love or friendship or support. Accept it with gratitude and humility. If you're given money, just a nudge to say for those of you that are given any money, this is going to be what they call feel-good money. And what that means is it's not meant for your rent. It's not meant for your mortgage. It's not meant for, you know, your car payment or groceries. This is for wants not need and that's going to be made clear if you're given any money it's feel good money to make you feel better go buy some new clothes go take a trip buy some you know for women buy some makeup some new shoes um take yourself out to dinner a lavish dinner in a restaurant you would never dream of going and dining in before and lo and behold there you go go buy yourself some new clothes and take yourself out to a beautiful um a play and then dinner later um, or the other way around, or whichever way that works for you. This is money to blow on you, to make you feel good. And you better do it that way, because the person um, that's giving you the money is going to be sadly disappointed if you don't do it that way.
also, um, yeah, I already covered that, that nudge of um, helping when you see a need to fill it, if you're able to fill it. You know, you just, you do what you can, right? You do what you can. But don't ignore it. Don't walk away. Don't say, I don't have time for this and whatnot. So the last card, which is Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. This is for Monday. I pulled the Seven of Cups, and this is all about possibility. Some choices are going to be made available to you now. Keep, keep separate facts from fantasy. It's important at this time, just the way that the energies and the vibrations are running. You need to know the difference between what's real and what isn't. Um, the facts of how some things can unfold. Um, the fantasy of how you may, you, you may want things to unfold. Some of you may have no sense of what is real at the moment. And your imagination can run away. You just... That's not a bad thing. You just have to be really cautious about that right now. Just to be on the safe side at this time. Come next week, the beginning of the week, don't rush into anything. Sit back and wait and see what manifests. And see, let something play out a little bit so you can see the difference between fantasy and reality. You may not be the one having the fantasy. It could be somebody else laying this, this down at your feet. And they're, they're living in a fantasy world. So you don't want to rush right into that. You want to sit back and see what, what the reality is of the situation, what the facts are of the situation before you get yourself involved. Keywords for this card. Fantasy, confusion, choices, dreams, imagination, vision, and passion. And there's a lot of passion in these cards. This is for the beginning of next week. So all 12 signs in the Zodiac. That is your general reading for this week. Um, for the August, August the 9th, which is tomorrow, Tuesday, until next week, which is, uh, Tuesday the 16th. So, um, it's not a bad reading. There's a lot of activity. I see a lot of activity in here, all kinds of it. Um, and most of it's really, really, really good. There's a lot of love, a lot of surprises <laughs> at the family gatherings. I'm sorry, I'm just finding it funny because I know how some of some of you are going to feel like, oh, I want to go to the family thing and everybody's going to be there, but cousin so-and-so and aunt so-and-so and oh, my brother drives me crazy and my sister won't let up on me, but I love them, but I don't like them very much. You're going to be surprised. Um, you know, Cousin Eddie, <laughs> I just, it's funny, it's hilarious, and you're, and you're, maybe some of you will think back on this reading, and you'll chuckle to yourself and say, this is what she was laughing about, um, the, the feelings of, oh my god, I don't really want to do this, and I told them I would, but I can't stop that one or two people that are just not my type, you know, you're going to find some of them have changed, and they're more your kind of people, they're more your thing, you're going to be like, ah, shocked at first, but pleasantly surprised. Curiosity peaked to what brought these changes about. There's going to be announcements of love, cohabitating, engagements, marriage. There's going to be a lot of children around. Um, there's nothing more beautiful than the tinkle of a child's laughter. Um, that really grounds everything. Uh, for those of you going on the work projects for the week, it's slash work slash vacation. It's going to change your life for some of you. It's going to open up doors. Wonderful. Just wonderful stuff. I can't say enough. I could go on for another 20 minutes about the following week, but I can't do that. The camera will only record up for so long. And then I have to upload this to YouTube, which is a real pain. Um, that takes forever. So, um, yeah, my modern technology could get a little more modern. It's not modern enough. Anyways, for now, all 12 signs of the Zodiac. All my dear, dear friends, I hope you enjoyed this reading. I did. I'm at the end of it here, and I'm starting to really feel the heat, and I put the cards away, but I'm feeling the heat and the intensity. 
uh, the things, the finer points that I pointed out to you. Because for some of you, this is going to play out just like the cards indicated will play out in the cards in the spirit guide. And the masters of the universe and the masters of the natural world are, they do have a sense of humor. That's why I'm laughing. Because a lot of this is a, is, is a comedy waiting to happen. And it's pleasant surprises for a lot of you as well. I have to stop for now. I don't want to, but I have to. I want to thank you all very much. Please subscribe to the channel. Um, support the channel. Um, it's always free. And like I said, if you want a free reading, you know, all the information is down. I'm not a free reading. If you want if you want a private reading, the general readings are free. The private reading, all the information is down below. And I do, I do offer that service for you as well. Until next time, I think um, another weekly, and then we're getting into the mid-monthlies. I'll have the signs already, 12 individual videos for each and every sign for the mid-monthly to carry on from the first of the month to see what's going to unfold and what's happening. I thank you all again for stopping by, and I have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful week. Pack it, chock it full of memories. The best to all of you. Thank you. Bye-bye.